We have the egg pants that was like our first product and we thought that we should have an extension of the egg pants line and other stuff. Salt and pepper makes sense because you need to salt and pepper your egg. These are the egg pants and then this piece is sort of what we thought could be the salt and pepper shaker. It was the first mold that made the tooling that creates these egg pants, but it looks like a really cool object in and of itself. There has to be something a that way opens to fill up. it. Scale wise, we should probably make it bigger. I was thinking uh, smaller. Oh, smaller. I mean, it could be bigger. All right, what about three inches? And then it has like a good feel in your hand, like when you pick it up. Where should we put the holes is another thing too. One could have like more eyes. Ha! <laughs> Monster egg. <laughs> At this point, we've kind of decided that the way we're going to make them into salt and pepper shakers is add little hats to the top that are removable, which is how you'll fill it with salt and pepper. And then we're going to add little eyes that are going to be how you shake the salt out. You want to, I think a baseball cap is like a win. Okay. It looks really good on the shape of the egg. But also like this little raised Ram will be perfect for putting your thumb oh, under to peel great. it off. Yeah, that's really good. I didn't even think about that, but it's awesome. We're just about done figuring out the shape of the cap. You know, actually, is a quarter inch enough? If you're going to be pouring salt into this from like a big thing, we should do half an inch. The last little detail of this guy is going to be the two holes that go in for his eyes. So what do you think? Point an eighth of an inch? No what way, that's A sixteenth of an inch? Oh, he's adorable. Yeah, I love that little hat. That is going to be pepper. So I'm sketching off Google image search thumbnails. Um, but I think this with the huge bow is really cute. <laughs> We're pretty excited about the hat. Yeah. We've gotten this kind of dapper angle going. How are we doing? Is the sketch uh, holding up to the real thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're done building it. We're super excited to throw these on a flash drive and bring them We're into the real world. It. Here's the drawing. Yes. We're ready. Yes. Make so, face. let's go to Make a Ride. Jacob, Liz, hey. welcome hey. to NYC Resistor. Hey, nice to meet you. Come on in. Let me show you around. So, I got your files. Yes. Awesome, love it. I, I, I just started printing them out. Let me show it to you. So you're an NYC resistor. This is a hacker collective in Brooklyn, kind of like an artist collective, but we figure out how things work instead of make art. Well, we make art too. And this is the MakerBot Cupcake CNC. It's actually printing out your design right now. Very cool. It, this is the egg body, and it's actually printing it out upside down. The material is so cheap that once you have the yeah. machine, it costs you like almost so nothing to just make whatever you want. Yeah. The way this works is it takes this white plastic and it pulls it in and then it goes down in here and it heats it up to 220 degrees Celsius and then it extrudes it in a really super fine uh, thread like angel hair pasta and then builds it up layer by layer. This is about a 30 minute print. So this stuff is actually pretty strong. It's ABS, which is the same thing Lego's made out of. We've been really looking forward to seeing what people will make of it. Okay, here we go. Very cute. Hot off the bat. Oh, they're finished. That's wonderful. I love them. Does it work? Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, Megan. Hi, Liz. How do you feel about MakerBot? I love MakerBot. I want to do more things. This was pretty cool. This was awesome. <laughs>